What is going on guys? JT Gilly back with another video and finally man I've been looking low-key like not even a joke I've been looking for like an hour trying to find Giovanni I keep running into grunts and we finally found him right now We're gonna battle Giovanni and claim our third or second ever shadow Moltres and Pokemon go cannot wait to do this man It's a beautiful day outside. We got an exciting adventure. Let's go ahead and hop into it man I have not battled Giovanni in quite some time actually it's only been about a month or two But let's go ahead and see what do we want to go ahead and hop in with let's go Machamp Let's go Machamp Kyogre and Tyranitar. Honestly, let's try out the squad. Let's see how it does. We know he's gonna lead with Persian, so we can use them a champ. We know he's gonna end with uh, what's his name? What's his name? Um, Moltres. So we can end with Tyranitar, and then of course his middle Pokemon is kind of random. It could be Kangaskhan, could be something else. We'll have to see. But let's take down Giovanni right now. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have taken down Giovanni lately. Pause. And if you guys got any uh, good Shadow Legendary Pokemon. Let me go ahead and clap him up. And his second Pokemon was Kangaskhan because I'm about to bada bing, bada boom, take him down. And now we can go ahead and get to Mr. Moltres right here. Shout out legendary Moltres. I do have one already. I think I have one or two, maybe even three, like I mentioned earlier. So let's go ahead and see if this one's gonna be any better than those. I don't remember the IVs on them though. So we're gonna have to check that out after as well. Is Tyranitar really gonna tap this guy down? Let's go. And just like that, Giovanni goes down for the 80th time in his career. He's only beat us once. It was it was a really tough loss, if you guys remember that. I got pretty upset, but um, <laughs> we're doing pretty good against him. We're doing pretty good against him. Let's go ahead and claim all of that good stuff right there. And ladies and gents, we can go ahead and we got 17 balls. Shadow Moltres. Oh, man. Mm, weather boosted. 1242. I don't know if that's going to be any good. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I am going to silver pineapple, however, because I do have 17 balls. And if I can get some extra candies, why not? And down it goes on the first ball. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Shout out to Moltres. First ball, silver pineapple, three XL candies, four candies out of, or sorry, seven candies out of that as well. Ladies and gentlemen, moment of truth. I don't have a phenomenally good Shadow Moltres so far. Are we going to get our first one ever today? <laughs> 12 10 10 12 10 10 you know you, you think you think that a weather boosted odds would help a little bit that didn't help, didn't help. okay shadow moltres right there it sucks what's new what is freaking new man gosh darn it well at least we got ourselves a shadow mulch hey yo <laughs> hey yo hello 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 we just got ourselves a shiny Ralts go plus probably right here Okay, okay, I'm down, bro. Also, I did get myself a uh, Typhlosion a little bit ago, Wild Typhlosion, which is awesome. But dude, Shiny Ralts off the Go Plus. I haven't got a Shiny Ralts in forever, man. I think it's one of the most underrated Shinies. Zero stars on that, by the way. Love to see that, guys. Well, that's, okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. Shiny Ralts and Legendary Shadow Moltres. Let's go ahead and look at all of our Moltres. Gosh darn it. So I have three Shadow Moltres all time. This is the one we just got, 12, 10, 10. The other one we have is 10, 12, 14, and then 6, 8, 10. So, so, so no, we don't have a good Moltres shadow at least. But anyways, we can move on with the Luminous Legends X research right there. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's claim all that XP. Give me all that good stuff. Let me get that incense. For the next stage, evolve three fairy types, use an incense, catch 20 fairy types. That's easy money. I have 11 days. I'm not going to rush this. I'll get it done. You'll see that in the next video. Also, I do have some Gibble rewards right here. And come on. No shiny Gibble right there. 465 sounds kind of good i really i'm just here for some candies and some xl candies the hundos uh or the, any good iv would be awesome all right here we go gibble check gibble check gibble check gibble check gibble check 450 obviously it's going to be worse than the 465 i don't think any of these are going to be any good hopefully i'm wrong let me Okay, hello. Let me double check really quick. Gibble, did you hook it up at all? 465. Oh, 91. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. So we're looking for probably like a 470, 480. I don't know what the hundo is through the research, but that's a pretty dope way to start off today's video, man. Shadow, legendary Moltres, and a shiny Ralts. Okay. Again, let me know in the comments down below if you guys battled Giovanni lately and how your shadow Moltres was. 
That is a great way to start the video. I love that, dude. Let's go. We got a big day today. And here we are back at Niles Park because I have lured it up and the spawns here are good, man. The spawns here are good. So many Dratini, so many Bagon, and that's what I need. I am loving every minute of this dragon event. I've done so many Xerneas raids. I've caught so many Dratini, so many Bagon, trying to get some XL candies, trying to get some shinies, trying to get some hundos. Oh my god, I'm so happy. It's so it's such a good event, man. Let me know in the comments how it's been for you guys. I'm just enjoying the heck out of it. That being said, I have been able to satisfy the requirements that it takes to evolve the brand new Pokemon that we got in Pokemon Go, starting with Spritzy. So in order to evolve Spritzy, you had to make it your buddy, I believe, and then use an incense. I did that, and we can go ahead and evolve this one into our first ever um oh what's this guy called? Oh I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a Ritis? I'm a Ritz I'm a Ritz? Oh my god, what is this? Aromatist, aromatist, thank you, thank you. I don't know why I said thank you like somebody's talking to me. Um, there it is, there it is, aromatist, our first one ever, and our last one ever, because I do not plan on getting this guy for again. Bada bing, bada boom, throw it in the decks. Honestly, looks kind of cool. 492, it's a good, really good Great League aromatist. I heard this guy's maybe not horrible for Great League, so we'll see, I don't know. Regardless, it's a good uh, PvP aromatist, and it's the best one I had. Next up, we're gonna evolve my guy, Swirlix. This guy, you have to make him your buddy and then give your buddy which i just made him it doesn't really matter who you give them 25 treats and then you can evolve this guy into now this one i don't remember I, if i hear it i'll know it but i don't remember off the top of my head let's go ahead and evolve swirlix into uh another pokemon his brother or dad i don't know how people really pick what is this guy called what are you called what are you called slurpuff that's what it is Throw Slurpuff in the decks right there. 1243 IVs on this guy. This is a 91%. Nothing crazy, but it's the best one I had again. And I just decided to evolve it because I wanted to get some Pokédex editions done today. So there we go. That is two new Pokémon that we've evolved out of the three that were released. I still have not evolved Mr. Gumi right here. But I've only seen four of them all time. So I'm going to have to get some more candies. And obviously I'm going to wait until I get a better one. Because that's a little bit of a more cool evolution. And I want to make sure when I do that evolution evolution it's a good one like a cool one a good one a shiny i don't know what it's gonna i don't know what i'm gonna wait for but i want it to be cool oh and really quick ladies and gentlemen you guys know that gibble is a huge part of this event and i've been going hard on the eggs i've been hatching as many as i can dude i've hatched about 20 something alolan eggs so far seven kilometer eggs not a single gibble hatch not a hatch i'm not even talking about the shiny not a hatch so hopefully our luck gets a little bit better on that but we do have a gibble task right here that we're gonna go ahead and claim you guys, I have one shiny gibble to my name. I'd love to make it two. No, shiny gibble right there. 455 CP. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but let's go ahead and grab this guy with the pineapple, get some extra candies, maybe get an XL candy out of it as well, dude. Oh my gosh. And then I actually had also had two more gibble tasks under this one that I just claimed, but those are to win two raids. And I'm going to wait for some raids to pop up around here. I'm going to get that done. And then we got two more gibble checks. And I'm going to keep going around looking for as many gibble tasks as I possibly can. 455. 12, 12, 12. Okay. Currently sitting at 130 XL Gibble Candy, and if I converted the rest, that's only 19 for some reason. So, no bueno there. No bueno. Also, we do have our field research breakthrough to claim right now. Let's go ahead and grab this and just get this out the way. It is Galarian Ponyta. I don't know what the hundo is. 702 sounds... I don't know if it sounds good. It sounds kind of bad, but I don't know, honestly, because who knows? And again, this guy is going to be shiny starting May 11th. I think we're, as of right now, almost done with that fairy global challenge. So, starting May 11th, shiny Galarian Ponyta will be a thing. I cannot wait for that. 702 CP IVs. Yeah, no good. No good at all. Okay, now, so this is something I've been wanting to do for a few days now. I know it's already, like, the second, almost the second week of May, but we never did an April recap. Usually, at the end of every month, I do a recap on how the last month went, how many shinies did we get, how many hundos did we get, how many lucky trades did we get, all that good stuff. So we're going to go over that right now pretty quickly and take a look at our month of April, which started off pretty slow. It, it got slow in some parts. It's definitely... Um, I would say our quote-unquote worst month of the year in some ways, but also somehow it's also our best month of the year. You'll see why. So our first category in this April 2021 recap are our lucky trades. We only did three lucky trades in the month of April, but they were some pretty gosh darn cool lucky trades. And taking a look at them now, they were actually our first ones that we've ever done. So pretty happy about this. The first lucky trade was actually a Raikou. And I'm lying, I actually have done a lucky Raikou trade before, but it was a lucky Raikou trade. 
trade and before I check the IVs on it let's play a quick clip from that trade shiny lucky legendary Raikou trade right now 1972 is what we're both looking for 1972 1972 1955 also probably not the greatest time in our history 1955 93 percent iv 14 13 15. so here it is 1955 raikyu unfortunately i mean listen it's a 93 percent it's just the worst 93 we could have got i feel like it just it's a really awkward one um i really wish we can get a good raikyu maybe one day maybe one day i'll, I'll keep doing this until i get it man but raikyu lucky trade next up we have our first ever lapras lucky trade now this one is really cool connor and i did this one and actually connor and i did both of these because we've hit lucky friends like a million times already connor and i did this lucky lapras trade Trade. And again, before we check IVs, here's the clip. Lucky trade going down, man. And we're working towards level 49. As you can see, we're at 35 lucky trades. So we're almost there. Again, 754. 754. Shiny, lucky Lapras, 740. Oh, why? It's 6 CP off the hunt. What? Why is that so bad? By the way, I'm not showing clips for every single thing we got in April, just a few of them. So Lapras Lucky Trade, unfortunately, didn't turn out too well, but we did get 15 attack. And I guess that's the least I could ask for. So definitely not mad about that. Lucky Shiny Lapras, you gotta love that dude. Such a nice Pokemon, very, very cool. And lastly, our last Lucky Trade and our third Lucky Trade of April was Mel Metal, dude. Our first ever Mel Metal trade in evolution. Now we did Lucky Trade Melton, which I then evolved into this Mel Metal. So it was a Melton Lucky Trade technically. Let's go ahead and play a clip from that as well. We're gonna be lucky trading Shiny Lucky Melton, the only mythical in this game that you can currently trade. Hopefully I'm recording. Let's go ahead and do this for the first time ever. Shiny Lucky Melton trade going down right now. I'm looking for 884. Ladies and gentlemen, Melton, oh, 864. Oh, so close. Ivy's 13, 14, 14. And yes, we then evolved it into Melmetal, and here it is right here, sitting at a 91% IV, no 15 stats, so we definitely got piped a little bit there, but it's a 3,000 CP, about a 3,000 CP Melmetal right there, dude. Such a beast, so freaking cool, dude. And I have a couple other Shiny Meltons, so hopefully we'll do some more Shiny Melmetal uh, lucky trades in the future. And our next category for our April recap are the Hundos that we got in April. And dude, honestly, not that bad. It's, it's it's pretty average, man. This is actually a lot of hundos. It's not average. It's probably better than average, honestly. This is a lot of hundos to get in one month. Here it is. The first hundo we got in April was Mr. Swablu. I actually hatched this guy from an egg on Snivy Community Day, funny enough. So he stole the spotlight there a little bit. But Hundo Swablu, this ended up being my third ever Hundo Swablu. So nothing too crazy about him. Then we go plus a 100% IV Snivy on Community Day, which I then evolved. This is actually my second ever Shiny Superior. So again, nothing too crazy, but still very, very cool. I love, love, love starter hundos. Then we got ourselves our first ever hundo Litleo. Actually, starting now, every hundo we get that I'm going to show you guys has been brand new. So really, really epic, honestly. Uh, we got our first ever hundo Litleo. It was a female. We evolved it. Very, very cool. I hatched this guy on accident, which is funny. Uh, ooh, the rock and Rolla, man. We got this rock and Rolla from a raid. I, I just had a feeling it was a hundo because the CP on it looked so high, and it was. We evolved it to Gigalith, which is actually a beast, man. He maxes out at 3650, which is really, really high. And, uh, man, really under really underappreciated rock type. Really glad I got him. Really cool Pokemon. One of my favorite from the gen. So, brand new hundo right there. Next up, exactly one week later, we ended up getting another 100% IV Litleo. Then we ended up getting Perugly. Yeah, I got 100% IV Glamio. I think it was on the same day as the Litleo. Or it was on the same day as something. But I go plus this. Random hundo Glamio. Sure, awesome, whatever. It was a new hundo. Ah. Oh. My guy, dude, my guy. This is my first ever 100% IV Walrein, and all I've ever wanted was a 100% 100% IV Walrein. He was one of my favorite Pokemon as a kid, and I've been trying so hard to get a Hundo Walrein, and then we got one as soon as they brought back the Team Rocket Grunts. I did a Shadow uh, Sphiel one, caught it, purified it, Hundo Walrein. Love this guy. As you can see, already maxed him out. I'm trying to get that 50 max, though. Ooh, this is where it gets good. So it's friendship day. There's an increased chance to get lucky Pokemon, right? I ended up trading with my buddy. We got six lucky Pokemon in general. Two of them were Hondos. You heard that right. 
two of my six lucky Pokemon that I got that day were Lundos. Don't know how, don't know why, I'm down though. Here it is, lucky 100% IV Victory Bell. It was a Bell Sprout. I did evolve it all the way through. Very, very cool. Also a brand new Hundo for me. And this guy's kind of a beast, so I'm with it. But that's not all. We did also get our first ever Lundo Sir, Sir, what's this guy's name? Um, what's your name? What's your name? Um, hold on, Surviper, Surviper. I was about to call him Superior. First ever Surviper right there. So another new hundo, but that puts us at nine hundos during the month of April. Not bad, dude, nine hundos and seven of them? brand freaking new and finally let's get to our april shinies now some of these you guys have never seen before so before you're like oh gilly i've watched all your videos i know exactly what you got no you don't because there are some in here that you guys have not seen that i got recently that i gotta show off and they just haven't been able to put them in a video but here we go first off we got my guy chimchar i ended up getting the shiny it's always rare to get shiny starters not in an event so this was a really cool full odd shiny that i got to start off the month then we got ourselves our first ever skitty our first ever skitty off the pokemon go plus now i will say one thing about april i may not have got you know a ton of shinies this month but all of the shinies that i got this month almost all of them have been brand new like first evers and and rare ones too so it was really a phenomenal month if you think about it first ever skitty gotta love that 10 cp right then you get our first ever shiny shadow aerodactyl that was an incredible day. Got this on Easter, I think. Here are the IVs on it as well. So shiny shadow aerodactyl. You can't coach that. It's my first one ever. Gotta love that money right there. Next up, we got our first ever shiny execute. I believe this was from the Friendship Day event. We got our first ever shiny execute, which I then evolved into executor. So I was really happy about getting that guy right there. Just kidding. That was not from the friendship event. The friendship event was, was later in the month, but that was our first ever shiny execute. I don't even know what that was from. Then we get a full odds shiny mill tank spawn on my house. Don't know why this is a highly coveted shiny. Got it randomly. It's my second one ever. I'm super down about that, dude. I don't know what that was about, but for sure. Uh, and then we get into Snivy Community Day, where we got about 20 shinies. I don't remember exactly how many. Um, a solid day overall, man. Solid day overall. A lot of dust, XP, all that good stuff. Then it was Friendship Day in Pokemon Go, and we got our first ever Alolan shiny. And our first ever Alolan shiny executor, obviously. So... This was incredible. This was incredible. Uh, this guy was spawning a lot, and it was one of my goals for the day, and we made it happen. And we freaking made it happen. So really, really happy. We got our first ever shiny Alolan Pokemon, which ended up being Executor. And you know what? Because it was so cool, let's go ahead and play that clip right now from Friendship Day. Finally, bro. It's been two weeks, and we finally get a shiny that we wanted. Our first ever shiny Alolan Executor. Yes, sir. We don't go shiny list on Friendship Day. That was awesome. Then, shortly after, we got our first ever Bellsprout shiny, which was also my second goal for that day. So we knocked it out of the park, literally. Awesome, dude. Very, very happy about that. I did evolve it all the way up into Victory Bell. Let's take a quick look at me getting the shiny Bellsprout for the first time. Oh my gosh, speaking of shiny momentum, ladies and gentlemen, dude, our first ever shiny Bellsprout. Oh my, all I wanted today was shiny Bellsprout and shiny Lone Executor. Guess what I got today? Shiny Bellsprout and Shiny Executor. And the friendship day was not over. We also got a Sunkern, which is nothing crazy. It was like my 18th one ever, but Shiny Sunkern. Yeah, cool, nice, I like that. Adding to our Shiny count, of course. And Shiny Mew. You know we gotta play this clip right here, man. You know we gotta play this clip right here. Shiny Mew, first ever epic moment start the encounter right now there he is oh my gosh that's so cool okay this is gonna be tough good thing it's not using our actual balls what is happening there we go got a great on the shiny mew and this one should do it right there one two three down it goes moment of truth three two one oh my god what is that about <laughs> that's disgusting our next shiny is one you have not seen before. I mean, you have seen it before, but you have not seen this one. We got ourselves a shiny Thunderous. While the genies were still here, I was doing a couple last minute genie raids and I got a shiny Thunderous on stream. So let's play that clip pretty quickly right now. Yeah. No. Oh, there he is. Oh my God. Nice. BRB. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, we just got ourselves shiny, shiny Thunderous. Let's go! Shiny Thunderous, a shiny you guys have not seen. 1874 CP, Ivy's on it. Not horrible, 
Not horrible. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. Whatever. It's, I mean, okay, it's not good. But it's a shiny thunderous. Awesome. All right. The next shiny is Shiny Smeargle. You guys saw this, of course. If you guys haven't seen my Shiny Smeargle video, go check it out, man. Epic. On our third ever Smeargle snapshot, we got him. You gotta love that. You gotta love that. So shout out to Shiny Smeargle, of course. And then, hey, yo. Oh, that was it. That's it for the month of April. Okay. So in total, 37 shinies during the month of April. Nothing too crazy, but like I said, man, the shinies I got, other than Community Day, of course, all really, really, really rare and some of my first ever. Skitty, Shady Aerodactyl, Executor, Mill Tank. Let's scroll down a little bit here. Alone Executor, Bellsprout, Mew, Smeargle. I mean, dude, great shinies. And honestly, when you look back at it, great month. Listen, that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys have not already. Turn those post notifications on so you guys never miss a video. I will say YouTube has been absolutely piping me lately, and I don't think half of you guys, more than half of you guys are not getting the notification, which is absolutely disgusting, and I feel bad. So make sure you guys have the notification on so you guys get to see the videos while they're nice and fresh. You have no idea how many times I've been messaged like, oh my God, Gilly, I didn't even know you posted that video. I never got the notification for it. And I'm like, I know. So whatever. Get that done if you guys have not already. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know how your guys' April was. Let me know how your April was. Any shinies, any hundos, any lucky trades. Let me know in the comments down below. And then, of course, how was your Shadow Moltres? Oh, my gosh. Gotta love that as well. So cool. So cool. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see your faces later. Deuces.